In this demo, I'm going to show how the squares and the plane squares, so that's the stitch dot squares and the plane squares can work together to get you beautiful mats and layers and create a really simple but effective frame. So I'm going to bring both die sets in. And as you can see here, you have the double stitch and dot squares, which have a dot and then a stitch line on either side of the cut line meaning that the frame that it cuts out and the piece that cuts out both have the detail on it. Then you have the plain squares, which just give you a plain square. Now these have all been sized imperially so that you have an eight by eight square, seven by seven, six by six, five by five, four by four, and so on. And the intermixing layers in between, each one is a quarter inch bigger so that you could cut yourself a five inch square and then have a five and a quarter inch mat for it, and a five and a half inch mat, and five and three quarter, and a six inch, and so on. This makes it so much easier as it matches with the card sizes that us as crafters use all the time. So this time I'm going to show you how to make the frames. So I'm going to take, first of all, my cutting plates from my machine, and I've added a simple piece of magnetic sheet. This is just a normal thin magnetic sheet on top. You may need to alter the sandwich in your machine to take this, but this gives us really good placement for it. So I'm going to start with a layer cut using the stitch dot. So I'm going to take the largest square from the stitch dot and place it down. I'm then going to take die number three. So I count from the outside, so that's number one, number two and number three. So I'm sort of hit one, miss one. And I'm going to frame that nicely on there. Now, to get the framing right to start with, I'm going to take die number two as well and place that in. So I can place die one, two and three. And that gives me a lot easier way to make sure that I've got a nice even spacing all the way around. Once that's done, I simply take out die number two so I don't want that to cut. And we're going to cut our first layer. So I'm going to take a piece of black card for this, pop it on top, put my cutting plate on that, and I'll run that through my die cutting machine. Now, as that runs out, I'm going to show you here, I've already cut this first layer. And when it was in the dies, I marked on top where the top is because no matter what you do, there will always be a little variation in the size of these. So by knowing which each layer is the top makes it a lot, lot easier. So I'll show you now when I take out my dies, I'm going to take the piece out of spare paper. I'm going to take the central panel out. And as you can see, that has that beautiful stitch dot, hoping you can see that on there. And I'm just going to write on the top of the frame top. So we take that out, pop that to one side. I'm now going to switch in to the plain squares and I'm going to take the next square down in size. So for this one, I'm just going to use, this is one, two, three, four, five. This is number six. But as you can see, I'm placing it to get an even border around this piece before I remove it. I take that one out and put it back down and I run that through now with another colour of card. So I would run that through with the beige colour. And I'll bring in here a piece I've already cut. So as you can see here, I've cut this with the beige and you've got the beautiful stitch dot around that side and a lovely crisp, plain beveled edge there. So that's layer two. Layer three, I need to switch back to the stitch dot. So I'm going to go back into the stitch dot and check which size, and it happens to be number five, fits nicely in the centre of there. So again, use that die that you've already cut in place to get your even spacing and take that one away. And again, I'm just going to put a piece of card over the top and I'll run that through my machine. So we'll run that one through. And again, I can show you how that one's cut. But once again, I've already got that layer cut. So here is the white layer cut with the top. So you can see now I have 
I'll swap them in. A black layer with top marked on it. A brown layer with top. A white layer with top. So those will all stack together. We'll take our plate out and again, I'll show you. So again, before I remove it, mark the top. We'll take that piece out and I've got that frame, okay, which I've already cut and we'll do the final layer. So again, it's just a case of rinse and repeat. I find the square that matches and gives me that nice border. So again, I place that down using the outside line. Take that away. I'm going back to a piece of black card. So we'll pop that one on. Put our piece, our board back on and we'll run that one through. And again, when that one's cut, mark the top. And once again, we've got that beautiful stitch detail and that plain edge. All I simply need to do then is to make sure top on each layer. So we go from the smallest top to the white. The next is the beige. Mark the top. Put that on. And then finally, the black layer. And again, with the top. And we pop that on. And I'm just going to slip a piece of white card inside so that you can see there how simply that works. And you could use normal glue or foam tape to mount that up because each layer is level. But you can see there we've gone that beautiful mix from the black to the beige to the white back to the black and then whatever you want to frame. A really simple way to make an easy frame using both of the sets.